star showbiz guest now. She was a big character in the 80s uh, in Chigwell and Essex. She's not big anymore. She went to a big soap, but she got smaller, didn't you? Really? <laughs> Pauline Perpetua Clerk is it? Uh, uh, Perpetua? I don't mind you getting quirk wrong. Where did you get... But who told you it was Perpetua? Perpe I know what your name is. Did I tell you that one night? Yes, yeah, you oh, did. Oh, I shouldn't have, should I? Oh, All right, it's out there now. It's a lovely, it's a it good name. It is a lovely name, thank you. Thanks for, for telling everyone, yeah. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Get you playtime, you might. It's like a good Catholic name or something. It is, it? Yeah. it is indeed. Yeah. It is indeed. But look at this. Um, she is literally as light as a feather because you have shared seven stone. As of yesterday, I got weighed yesterday, yes. Yeah, in stone. just six months. Six and a half months. I started 3rd of January. That's yeah. Yeah. amazing. Do you know what? I'm just delighted for you. But do you know, people are going to say, Oh, but that's not healthy. Oh, you can't be doing that. Right, let's put that one to bed. Mm -hmm. uh, I started Light Alive January the 3rd. I have never felt so well in my life. Nutritionally, it's got everything you need mm -hmm. to, and you can carry on. I mean, I did Light Alive Total and that's, that's mm -hmm. obviously abstaining. Um, and the, but the trick is, so obviously the weight comes off at a regular pace. Some weeks you lose a bit more than others, but I have felt terrific. Hair hasn't fallen out, teeth ain't dropped didn't out. faint, nothing like no, that? No, no faint. I mean, okay. you just really do feel well and your energy and All right, let me everything. put the next question Yeah, I know you. what the next one's going to be as well. The next one is, as soon as you stop that, it's all going to go back on again. This is what everyone says, and it will go back on. Who cares? Literally, <laughs> will go back on overnight if uh -huh. you go back to how you ate before. Now, when I started this diet, I was 19 stone 6. That's a hell of a lot of person. Yeah. Um, in fact, so there's someone walking around now made up of all the fat I've lost. There's someone who weighs seven stone. It's incredible. Obviously, a very, very ugly person walking <laughs> around now of all the fat I've lost. But, you know, I got to 19 stone six and I had to, I had to do something about it. This isn't a crash diet. It's not a quick fix. The hard bit, and I know everyone knows this, the hard bit will be to keep this off, to maintain yeah. the weight that I've lost. Right, did you have a light bulb moment? Did, mm. you know, yeah. because I'm waiting for this to happen. You know, that, that something switches, something flicks and something, and you say, right, I've got to do this and I, there's no <sighs> other alternative. There's been a couple, to be quite honest with you. The first one, I suppose, was having the hip replacement two years ago. That was a shock at 49. Because they're saying that the, your hip wore it's away. It's a weight bearing weight, joint. Yeah. Also, working, uh, you know, I did a series playing a detective where I had to be getting in and out of cars or going up, running up and down stairs mm. after baddies. My knees were killing me, absolutely killing me. So the hip replacement was a light bulb moment. The second big light bulb moment was getting on the aeroplane to go to holiday. I'd always struggled getting the seatbelt done up, but I just mm. about managed to do it every time. Um, you know, for two hours I'd be sitting in agony because the belt would be digging in my kidneys, but I, I always managed to do it until this one particular time when it wasn't going to do up. And, it, it, you know, I'd like to say it was a very funny moment and tell you an amusing story about it, but it was horrible. Mm. I remember then doing my husband and my kids could see I was obviously quite distressed, and I did a quick head count, see how many children there were on the plane, because obviously they get first pickings, don't they, the kids? Yeah. And then I asked the stewardess very quietly, could it, would it be possible to have a seat extension? And she was very discreet about it. She went up and she got the extension belt. But, yeah. So I remember thinking, I've got to do something. And when I moved up to, to Yorkshire to do Emmerdale, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to get, to get some off because mm. they're not feeding the kids every night, you know, being yeah. away from home. I started off with the best of intentions, but I was getting bigger. I well, was getting bigger. You're lighter now. We're delighted about that. Thank but you. But you've been in some very dark places in that Emmerdale. There's not a been a lot of laughs lately, mm. no. I suggest that we put on some glad rags tonight and show off our total gorgeousness in the pub later. <laughs> I think we're going to be great mates. How's Jackson? Still gay. Just in a way. You know, you're always putting on this hard man act and then start wetting yourself as soon as it gets dangerous. You done good, kiddo. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> She seems to have, have... Light has gone out, really, for her, hasn't it? Since it the has, same yes. Day. She's a very different Hazel mm. to, to the character that arrived in the village, and, and that is the way I describe it, really. The light has gone out of Hazel's life. It will never come back again. Um, 
And I think probably, you know, as you can see, obviously I've gradually got a lot slimmer and I think that's helped really in the fact. And is that the beginning of the end of, as her as a character? Um, I, I'll be leaving uh, Emmerdale at Christmas. Mm. It'll be 18 months at Christmas. I've had the best time ever. I can't mm. tell you what a joy that programme is mm. to be on. I'm so proud of it. Mm. Um, what well, everything about it, the storylines, oh, the people, the, the location. I got up there, yeah, the location, the people, the cast, the crew, everyone, the friendliness, and also mm. the quality of the stuff yeah. that we're doing on it. Mm. I get, you know, I've had some fantastic storylines and working with different directors all the time, and it's, well, it's just the, been it's a the joy. end of a, another era in your life, and tributes have been flooding in. Let's get one now from a from a famous old actress. <laughs> Pauline Quirk, you look absolutely fantastic. I am now going to have to start my diet. You look brilliant. Wooden spoon here. Uh, can't wait to see you. And uh, well, wouldn't it be great if you, Linda, and I could all get together and do something? Maybe next year. Shall we watch this space? Love you lots. Do you even like each other? I love the do bones it, of her, well, I really do. Yeah, why not, look, why? she hasn't aged, yeah. but I don't know what she's on, I'll tell you. Yeah. She hasn't aged today. Why wait till next year? Were you watching the top of our programme today, were you? I was in a car. Were you? Yeah. Oh, that's good, because we had another famous actress on as well, and she decided to hang around them today. What like you, <laughs> you are. Oh, my God, look at you. I can't believe it. Do you know oh, what? no, we're making her cry I now. Did you see her? I didn't answer because I felt like... <laughs> She's the first time she's never rung or anything for me birthday, and I text her <laughs> because I'm, 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 we know my wedding day, isn't it? Mom? And I thought, you know, she's not got back. She's no, because not... I thought I'm going to put my foot in there. And I'm I thought say today, I, I was just going to text her, just say, are you okay? What have you worried. done with all your old clothes? <laughs> I <I'll> left those. <laughs> you look fantastic. Oh. You really do. Oh. You lot are terrible for the surprises. I've been hiding you know, in a wardrobe. I could have swore they could. I didn't, did I? I no. didn't swear. <laughs> you smudged oh. all your mascara I there. know. They spent four hours trying to get me to look this good. And you've got oh, it hello, oh, darling. Do you ever oh. remember? I remember her looking that light. I've never ever seen her look this good before. I swear when to God, I mean, she's always been primary beautiful. primary school, I was <laughs> No, we knew each other from probably about seven or eight. Okay. So, yeah, but no, you look absolutely fantastic. You don't look too bad yourself. Maybe it's going to spur me on to do something now. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, you do you look brilliant. You really, really Very do. Good. I saw the well. pictures, but I hadn't seen her in the flesh. They've well, not been touched much, up. Much that is now. her. <laughs> They've not been That is well, Pauline Perpetua there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. You carry on catching. Well, I've, got to say, I've got to say hello to all the kids at the Pauline Quirk Academy, so I'll get in big trouble. So, all 1,300 of them now. I can't do you individually. You. It's Thank another programme tonight. Just to all the kids at PQA. And here's what's on this morning oh. tomorrow. <laughs>